Goods out is struggling. There's not a massive amount I can do about goods out here. Except maybe... Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my Open TTD Quad Challenge. And actually, uh, at the time of this video going out, the day that this was released, next week is going to be our triple Open TTD charity livestream. If you like Open TTD, December 17th from 10.30 UTC for many hours throughout the day, we're going to be having multiple games public games so you can come and play you can also just come and watch if you want to but we've got giveaways of, of steam cards and stuff it's going to be a fantastic event make sure you don't miss it i'd love to see you all there now cracking on with things for today we're going to unpause the game and we're going to have a look at this operating profit from last time which went down a lot and i've got a funny feeling it's going to keep going down now, thank you very much to all of your comments recently on the video. I do want to highlight one though. I've got it here in front of me. It's from PatSob87. And uh, they what they've done is summarized, and I'll put it on screen, the challenges saying about the Highland Challenge, the whole beach factory, saying how difficult there was, what the objective was, and so forth. But then they've gone on to say something I was not expecting. Unspoken slash hidden challenges. Breakdowns infrastructure maintenance, cargo distribution, and then giving challenge ideas for the future. You know what? I definitely agree that infrastructure main maintenance and cargo distribution are hidden challenges in this. I'm not so sure I would say breakdowns are. They are a challenge if you don't play with them. But uh, I need to spell it by E-A-K breakdowns. Yeah, um, but vehicle breakdowns are currently set to normal and they're usually set to be re reduced. So it is a little bit of a challenge on top of the normal one. Yeah, okay. So I would agree. I would say that they are three hidden challenges. Breakdowns, infrastructure maintenance and cargo distribution. Um, and I look forward to seeing what challenges we can do in Season 10. Now, overall things seem to be flowing quite nicely. Good shuttle is probably going to get a reduced amount of goods going through it because in an economic downturn, you can usually expect like your mines and so forth. This, is that is that covering that one? Look, we've got another iron ore mine that's right next to it. In fact, that that's a terrible station. Let's fix that. That's not an iron ore station. What, are we on electric for this part of the network? Yeah. We've got the ISR industry renewals jobby. And we want to do a mineral silo with two tracks, platform length six. Can I do it while the trains are there? No. Well, well. What we'll do is we'll send the two trains on their way. Tell them to skip their orders. And then we'll go back in here. It should have the same selections. Is that both of the trains out? Yep, there we go. There we are, we've changed it to a mineral silo. And while we're at it, we'll get an office. Or, yeah, we'll get a little office. And we'll put the office over here. And Coningsby Mines now has a spread station to accept the iron ore over there. Okay. Look, there's iron ore all over the place. There's lots of new places that have popped up um, here and there. Maybe we should look at adding a, a new places to our existing infrastructure. Although if we look at our existing infrastructure, uh, total waiting cargo, you can see that we've got a lot of places where a lot of stuff is waiting. I wonder how we're actually doing on the high, no, not the high score table, on the detailed performance rating. Uh, here we go. This is quite interesting. So apart from minimum profit and minimum income, we're doing okay. And we've got a lot of stuff doing silly transfers for the rest of the... Uh, uh, yeah, the rest of the network, so that doesn't really surprise me. We're not really going for performance rating here. We're looking at challenges. Right, have we got any more information on that operating profit? Yep, it's gone down even further. Hopefully that will start turning around. Our bank balance is pretty healthy at the moment. Um, and what we got going on over here. So we've got the slowdown of these vehicles coming through these force depots. And what we did talk um, 
in the comments and in videos recently about the force depots and how that too many force depots will actually slow your trains down too much and you won't get enough profit. But also not enough force depots or uh, not having them at all means that they will at some point break down when trying to get between depots. And the biggest problem for me is, is that the different, speed, uh, different trains go at different speeds on different lines and also the reliability of trains is different in every single game and the reliability changes. So you can't change and move the spacing of your depots really to match it very well. Anyway, let's see what we can do about some of this over here. Now, I'm only going to concentrate on the trains, so that does um, shrink our list down a nice good bit. This farm, uh, again, is doing okay. I feel like we could do with maybe six or seven tracks here. Uh, maybe even an eight track um, station, but then we'd need two lines coming out and going all the way through. I did get a comment saying that I'd missed a signal over here at East Inn. Presumably, uh, and I couldn't understand exactly what they were talking about, presumably talking about like here, going into the station or something, and I don't think that's the case. And the reason for that is, is that um, if you put a signal after the one I've got highlighted here down near my box, then the trains will not be able to see which platforms are available and choose the correct uh, set of platforms. So, yes, there we go with that. Um, East, this, this definitely could have been better. There was a few comments saying, oh, you know, the that uh, it wasn't the best. No. No, it is definitely not the best. This could have been better. But you know what? Overall, it is actually working okay. Uh, the platforms aren't getting full because vehicles can't get out. And down here, we haven't got a big, long, massive line of trains waiting all over the place. There's a few over here. But presumably, you know, that could just be a train that broke down. Um, and actually, these ones are all waiting to leave. So that's slightly interesting too. But there's not a big long queue of trains waiting to get in that I can see. So that's that's good. Um, right then, money has dropped a bit. I don't know if we've got the next... No, we haven't got the tick, next tick on the graph yet. Caution interchange. We keep coming back to it. It's going to get a bit of a reputation, this one. It's not doing the best. Oh, the recession's over. Fantastic. Okay, I wonder how much everything is going to keep going. Oh, there we go. We've got the next tick. And it flattened out a little bit. Our money has gone down by approximately 50 million during this um, during this downturn. And it's still got to... The tick's got to come back up again. I would love to be able to see it go up even higher. But we'll, we'll see how we go. Right then, so yeah, caution interchange is it's a difficult one. With these trains coming through, uh, they're going through on this route and they are bringing passengers all over the place. Making some good money though. Okay, so we're going to ignore this farm hub because it would need too much of an overhaul to do anything too much with. Exeter transfer. Okay, we've got this little shuttle service that goes backwards and forwards and... I kind of feel like it needs its own dedicated platform to exit to halt. Um, let's do that. So what we're going to do is delete this part of the city. And we're going to attempt to get a six track station in there. Oh yeah, I forgot we can use this kind. <laughs> uh, platform length six, number of tracks two. Can I just link that with X? I can't link that with X to halt. Why? X to halt. Well, that looks like it goes... I think, well, station spread is uh, 15 in this game. So if we go that way, that's 13. Oh, it's because it's going to the side. Ah! That's not good. Okay. Um... We could put it over here, potentially. Depends how much of Exeter, Exeter will let us delete. Um, we won't. It won't fit in there. We could make it fit in there. 
I don't really want to have to make it fit in there. The other option is we could just close two platforms down here. That would probably be a good thing to do. We can't delete like that much of the city. Oh, I've deleted a lot of the city there to be able to do this. Right, let's do that. We're going to um, close two of the platforms down here just to shrink Exeter on that side. Just so that we can then put it in on this side. There we go. So what we'll do here is a standard... Oh, I want to do a standard crossover, but then there's no room... Okay, let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get it to come across here like this. Pretty sure I can do that. Yes, I can do that. We'll need to put some um, signals in. Let's unpause the game. What I'm trying to do is to stop trains from Exeter Transfer going into Exeter, the, like the main platform of Exeter Holt, and for them to be getting in each other's way. There's a lot of slowdown here. So if they just had like a dedicated set of platforms, how many trains have we got in there? Okay, so it's not building up with trains too much. This one's still in the way. Oh, I remember I was doing a live stream recently and I changed my game setting. I'm trying to fast forward the game, but I changed it to 10%. <laughs> Which actually makes the game slow down. I was like, why are the trains going slow? There we go. Right, so this is the amount of fast forward that my computer can currently handle. It's a ridiculously slow amount. This train is still sat here. Come on, get out of the way. Move, be the next train. Yes. Okay, so now we can come in here and give these guys the extra option. And actually just remove that there. Uh, there we go. So now those trains should be making a good journey. There's thousands of passengers there, so we will clone that train three times and throw it on the on the pile. Right. That should sort itself out. We won't have trains crossing other trains then here. This will be much better. I have no idea why I decided to get that to be going into the side of Exeter Holt there. Let's have that dedicated bit. Much better there. It would be nice if like, it was all brought over so that I could have all the platforms I wanted. Um, but sooner or later, these little bits of track here won't be used. So we'll come back to that in a moment. Uh, we got the extra trains we wanted, so that's good. London West has quite a lot of trains in it at the moment. Uh, trains? Passengers? Wanted to go to both Birmingham and Manchester. Okay, that's a Birmingham train. Uh, what train is that one? Let's clone that Birmingham train a few times. Get them on their way. We got a full load order in here or something. No, we haven't. Just doing lots of... Oh, uh, that one's going to Birmingham as well. Let's have a quick look at all the... I think all of these trains just go to Birmingham, right? Grouped by shared orders. Yes, they're all the same train. So they have to go to Manchester via Birmingham there's no direct service which isn't necessarily the best but that's okay you know it'll do the job it will do the job quite nicely uh, right what's next let's have a quick look here Hollyhead Airport full of passengers as they are where do they want him to go most of them to Chester and Bangor, and they are places along this line. There's Bangor, and then Chester is down here somewhere. There it is, there's Chester. I think we just need more trains on this line. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. They seem to be flowing okay. Let's do that. Our money did go down by about, I want to say about 80 million during the recession. But it is it is starting to pull back now. Uh, what are we at now? October, end of October, June, July, August, September, October. I think there's going to be another tick on the graph in just like a day or so. Let's let's check that out. No, it must be next month. <laughs> I always get confused about that. Okay, so the number of passengers in there are probably going down. 
Peterborough again is busy, but I don't think we can really get more trains on this main line. Look, we've got a queue of trains here trying to get into these platforms. It's unfortunate that that is now starting to be the case. This line is pretty saturated. Uh, they're not, there's not queues everywhere. So I guess that, you know, that could have just been like one breakdown that just blocked the line up. Again, I don't think we'd improve this line without like tripling the line up or something. Um, Edinburgh Woods. Yeah, we've got a lot of passengers down here. The uh, the other side of that line is the back end of Exeter, and I wonder how that's doing. Exeter Woods. Yeah, that's doing okay. Have we got full load orders on these trains? Yep, we have. Let's get rid of that full load order. We are going to have a little bit of a rush of trains, but let's have them going more regularly so we can service both ends um there's a little graphical problem there with grain and livestock at walston hub going a bit crazy um over here we've got um a massive amount of livestock at the moment uh, i guess that's because we had a lot of grain added a lot of grain trains and now we don't need the grain trains so the grain trains are potentially blocking the way for the livestock trains. Let's get rid of that extra grain train. Let's tidy that up. This steelworks is now pumping out even more steel than before. There is a bit of a queue to get into the platforms. Is that because we need another platform? Or is it just... Yeah, I kind of feel like we need another platform here. This North Inn station, barely being used in comparison. So, let's um, let's sort that out. So, what we'll do is we will remove one platform here. There we go. And we'll redistribute the wealth, the space... And we'll have a uh, station, it'll be a steel drop-off of some description. Let's just go with a heavy freight station. And we're going to have to specify that it's going to go to... Uh, oh, is that North Inn as well? It's all North Inn. Oh, okay, I thought that was two separate stations. It's not. Okay, so I didn't need to rebuild the station. I could have just converted the track. My bad. Uh, no, we don't want that. Want a signal on the exit? There we go. We'll have an extra sig um, option there. Okay. No. Nope. Remove that signal. Thank you very much. There we go. That should help with the flow at that end. And at this end, I think we probably just need a few more trains. I mean, it doesn't seem to be backing up, so let's put another few trains on that. There we go. So, uh, Hackney Steel is going to be sorting itself out. Manchester, again, is really busy. We've got passengers to both L London and Birmingham. Um, so that's a similar situation. Let it, let's just clone out some trains. Wow, I've done quite a few there. Maybe I shouldn't have done that many. Never mind. Wow, there's a, there's a lot of stuff that needs transferring. Goods out is absolutely chocker. But we have lots of trains there picking it up, so that's okay. Good shuttle. Again, I think the boats are just trying to catch up with everything that's going on. This farm hub seems to have not enough grain trains. Um, yeah. There's a, there's a grain train. Let's clone a couple of them and throw it at it. Throw more trains at the network. We're not increasing our infrastructure maintenance, but we are increasing our profits, in theory. Okay, speaking of profits, our operating profit is back in the black. Fantastic. Ah, <sighs> okay. Um, these mines... Okay, we'll throw... Is it just a matter of just needing more trains? Maybe. Okay, there's there's a few different places that are like, Hello! I, I need more trains, please! 
This one's already got two. I'm going to unstop that train. Don't know why it's like that. Uh, oh! There's an extra coal mine just popped up here. Wow, that's fantastic. Look at that. Oh, we were actually I was actually going to be looking for nearby extra services to, to hook in. Like this coal mine here, uh, that could be hooked into this part of the network. But I think we're doing okay. A hundred well one thousand two hundred tons there. Okay. I think we've looked at the worst one. Oh, extra halt is now getting very busy. And I don't know why. I, d I, ju I just think there's maybe not enough. Uh, let's go transparency mode so we can see what we're doing. We don't need this bit of track here anymore. That's all doing good. Is there a 90 degree turn here? I don't think so. No. No, I, I thought there might be. But there isn't. These trains seem to be doing quite well. Exeter transfer is now down to back to pretty much nothing. And I think now that they've actually got their own station uh, set of platforms to drop off at Exeter Halt, they've become much more efficient. So what I might do is I might go, okay, which ones of you aren't loading? You're not loading. Go to your depot. You're not loading. Go to your depot. Oh, we've had another fireball. <clears throat> Get rid of a couple of those trains because now that they're moving more efficiently, we need less trains. So there we go. Sorted. Wow. Birmingham, still very busy, although that's to be expected. We've added uh, new trains at both London North and Birmingham, so hopefully that'll be all right. This steelworks still, still pumping out absolutely loads of steel. 3,500. What's the other steelworks doing? The big steelworks here. Two, it's doing more than the big one? Wow. We're at 94% transported there, though. So that is really good. That shows if you're in the 90s for transported at an industry, it's very good. Uh, you, you are making sure you're doing a good job there. We're only at 61% down here. That's the opposite of very good, folks. Um, I'm thinking what we might do is double up the deponus round here um i'm not exactly sure the best way to do this uh, yeah okay i know which way i'm going to do it we're gonna have to have a little kink okay we'll take no oh there's a train in the way okay never mind we'll take this bit of track out here temporarily this is going to cause problems but oh no that's going to cause more problems come on you get out of the way Get in that depot. Right. Now, to be able to put an extra set of depots in here, I suppose we could actually have a set of depots for each one. Ah, yeah, that's a good point. Okay. So we've got two sets of platforms here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to dedicate uh, a set of depots to each one. So we'll come out like this and have a piece of track that looks like that. We'll have a depot here, a depot here. We'll make it a force depot. Put a signal afterwards and a signal before. Connect that up here and we'll probably remove this bit of track there. There we go. Now, we'll remove that. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that either. <laughs> we'll put the piece of track in here and connect that up there. There we go. Bring that down here. Oh. Okay, we're going to have to do something to get that train out of the way. Something like that. Which is a little silly. Uh, those trains have no signals between them, but luckily they moved in a way that made sure it was okay. Get rid of that fix. And then we'll put a signal here at this split and down there. Okay, that will get the flow through here much better. It might be that now we've got two sets of double depots, that's uh, the station platforms are much more filled up. It is going to take a moment for that line to recover, though, after all that messing around. Dover Pickup's actually got a lot of oil at it. Hmm. Wow, okay. 
Is it worth me adding more trains on this line? Are they making money? Let's have a look. All the trains that go to Dover Pickup. We've got two sets of, sets of shared orders for some ridiculous reason. Um, but... They made 13 million last year. That's not a massive amount. And there is transfer stuff to, to worry about. Oh no, it's the end of the line, isn't it? It's like the last bit of the transfer, so it's not transferring. Well, we'll come back to that one. I've, this experiment that I did down the side of the map, it costs like nearly 400 million, and I don't think we've ever really made our money back off that. Uh, this hub here, my goodness, we need more trains. Uh, clone? Can I not clone this train? You can't clone from a shared screen. You have to clone from an actual train. Okay. Let's put three more trains on that track. Send them on their way. Um, Spillsby Mines as well. Yeah. We've got some coming in down here from... Uh, the production's gone absolutely crazy recently. It's the... Uh, the uptick of the recession potentially. Let's have a look at the operating profit. Yeah, there we go. We're still heading up We're still heading up Hackney Steelworks What's the situation here? I mean we, we could have another signal here to help with the flow. That's fine Looks like we might actually need another platform. We'll see how it goes leave that for a while goods out is struggling there's not a massive amount I can do about goods out here, except maybe throw more trains at it. And to be honest, I'm not sure we would cope with that. We're mostly full. So this station is uh, 13 in length. Why did we go with 13? I have no idea. Um, and it is the full 15 in width. So it's almost the biggest size of station we could have. Uh, how many goods are there? Not a horrendous amount. Okay, that's fine. Good shuttle. How are we doing there? You know what? We might actually need a few more ships. Let's throw three more ships at it. Okay. Overall, network seems to be doing good. Um, let's check over here. Yep, yeah, we've got a break in the tracks. Good job I checked this. It's only a little break in the track, so we're okay. That's not too bad. We have got a crossover here that's missing. Go back into the... If you get, Oh, you've broken down. Brilliant. I was going to say, if you go back into the station, I can fix this. So please just disappear back in. And then... No, no. Go back, back in. I am finished. Oh, don't break down again. Oh, my goodness. Right. Come on. Shift out of the way, please, train. Oh, dear. There we go. Oh, broken down again. Okay, never mind. Well, there we go, folks. Um, Steelworks has much better flying trains now to the point where we might actually need more platforms. Uh, Dover Pickup actually has a lot of oil at it, so we might throw more trains at that line? I don't know. But what I'm thinking is, is that uh, New Stanley Falls Airport needs to grow. That is probably true. And... Whiz Beach, we probably need more stuff down here because we've got too much iron ore. Wow, we've got way too much iron ore. We'll clone another train and throw that on there. Ah, oh, it's going quite good. We have managed to bounce back quite nicely. You can see the operating profits come in, and it's still climbing at the moment. I think with adding all the extra services on the line and the extra oomph that's been going on, yeah, it's all going quite well. Next time, I think what we'll have to do is we'll have to um, advance the game a little bit and have a go at this new island challenge a little bit. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do, but we do need to have some sort of token gesture before the end of the series there. So, join me next time where I will be looking at that new island challenge and I will see you soon. Leave all your thoughts, ideas and questions down in the comments section and I will see you then. Take care for now. Goodbye.